and I was one of the Oak Bay High School participants in the Memory Cafe as well as one of the background dancers and one of the twins in the Remembering Our Canada project. Well, I do have an idea, but you have to do the dishes for a whole month. What if we switch boyfriends for a dance? A whole month of dishes for one dance? How do we switch for the whole night? Fine, but you better not make any moves on him. Deal. There was two twins who switched boyfriends for a dance, which ended up being part of our Undertold Stories performance. And that was one that obviously stuck out since I was one of the twins. Um, but just learning about how relationships worked, how the worlds of women, just everything in that idea. Because it's one thing to learn it from a textbook and hear what people say and think happened then, when it's really another thing to hear directly from someone who lived that time to really understand what happened. I had a couple really nice ones. I think it was my last memory cafe. It was a group of ladies and they started asking me about my love life, which is really funny. And uh, they started telling me about how they met all their husbands and then they told me to make sure to look out for the good one. And then uh, they told me to come back and let them know what had happened afterwards. So they were, I'd say those were probably my favorite because they were the funniest. Well, I learned a lot about how seniors, like even though at the stage that I'm meeting them at, they're older people who might not be as able-bodied, but really when you talk to them and listen to them, they have these incredible stories and a lot of wisdom that most people don't know about because you just see them as a senior, but really they've done this incredible life and it's really interesting. So when I started, I kind of viewed aging as like a bad thing and it's not fun and you can't really do much once you've gone to like a certain age and it's just, your life kind of just plateaus in a sense but after meeting with some of the seniors and hearing about like the things that they do what they they're bleh, like the things that they do the stories that they've told us you got to really understand that even though they're older and they might not be able to remember as many things they're still able to do lots of fun things like at one point the seniors started drawing in my notebook and they're like oh look at this dog i drew like and so i think it's that it's a dip, it's a mindset switch in a sense of like you're not a hundred like you're not a hundred percent able body but they still enjoy their life which is really interesting i'm definitely a lot more grateful for the future that i have because i definitely have a lot more access to different things and i have a lot more resources and then when i get to a point where i'm one of the older seniors uh, i know that i'll be in good hands because like the people who worked at the oak bay lodge were absolutely wonderful and i know that i will be in good hands I just think it was a really great experience, especially to work on my conversation skills as well, because I definitely learned how to interact with different types of people, as well as people who may not be 100% there in their memory and still be able to have great and interesting conversations with them. And I definitely think it's a project that should continue.